Hi everyone, just wanted to wish you all a happy new year. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but I just kind of got unmotivated, I guess, and I just couldn't think of what video to make. So I decided to do this one, which is the seven beauty sins tag that's been going around. So let's get into it. Number one, greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item? So inexpensive would definitely have to be e.l.f. because e.l.f. has a bunch of one dollar products such as this quad, um, all over color stick, shimmering whip, hyper shine lip gloss, um, SPF 15 gloss, just these one dollar items I think they're actually half decent and they're only a dollar so that's definitely the most inexpensive item. What is your most expensive item. It would probably be um, perfume. This isn't cruelty free but this is what I bought before I went cruelty free and this one in particular is Lacoste Pour Femme. It is my favorite favorite scent. Oh yeah anyways. Um, it was about like $92 so and this one's in the 90 milliliters or three fluid ounce size. I think like in Canada it costs more than if you bought it in the States, but yeah, that was really expensive. Number two, Wrath. What beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? That is really easy. Uh, it would have to be mascara in general because it is so hard for me to find a mascara that works. I'm always looking for something that's going to hold my lashes, um, something that's cruelty free, something that isn't going to smudge all over the place, something that volumizes. I don't really care about lengthening as much, but um, yeah, it's like really hard. I mean, I don't really like this mascara. I paid $20 for this. This is the Bourjois Volume Glamour Ultra Curl. Not a big fan. It's been forever. I mean, I used to love CoverGirl Lash Blast and Maybelline XXL Curl, but they both test on animals, so now I can't find a good alternative. And the love aspect comes from the fact that I can't like not wear mascara. Like I need to wear mascara. If I don't, I feel like my look is just incomplete. What product has been the hardest to get a hold of? Um, I kind of want to say this palette right here. This is a comfort zone from Wet n Wild, the 8 pan palette. But I guess it was hard because it came out in the States a lot faster than in Canada. And so I, I'd see it on YouTube and I'd be lemming for it so bad, but it just wasn't around in Canada. And so I was just like constantly searching for it, waiting for it to come out. And when it finally did, it was like, there's only like two of these I think and one of them was all broken so I snatched this baby up and yeah it took months to find this. Let me know what is uh, your most delicious beauty product. It would have to be coconut oil. This one is virgin coconut oil cold pressed and it smells, uh, it smells so heavenly. It smells like coconut ice cream or like oh it just sound, smells so good and I used not this particular kind um, but this is my cooking version but if you use this um, I use coconut oil for removing my eye makeup I use it for a moisturizer sometimes I use it for a deep hair treatment um, yeah I, I use coconut oil a lot in my beauty routine and I actually like love it so much that sometimes I'll take a, a scoop of it and just eat it straight because it just tastes amazing. What beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Um, there's two. One of them lately has been my eyebrows. I just have really been neglecting, like I haven't been plucking all up underneath here. I've just been really lazy but luckily I don't have like really bushy eyebrows so they don't really it doesn't really make a difference if I don't pluck unless I get real close and you'll see that there's some stray hairs. Um, the other thing that I neglect would be my hair. Like I don't take care of my hair. Well, it's not that I don't take care of it, but I basically don't put any products in it. The only product I use 
would be shampoo, conditioner, and uh, a leave-in treatment of some sort. I've been using the Live Clean Argan Oil treatments, and sometimes use BioSilk. But yeah, like other than that, I never really do my hair. Like you could probably tell in most of my videos, I just have a ponytail because I hate it when my hair's in my face. And when I wear it down, I feel like I have to either straighten it or curl it or do something special. So I'm just really lazy and I don't even bother. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Um, I'd have to say eyeliner. I know that's weird. Most people would say concealer because it covers up flaws. Which I do think concealer is important. But when my skin's actually pretty good, I don't really care for concealer. Like today I'm not really wearing foundation at all because I woke up really late and I didn't... I just have sunscreen on and then like blush because I don't know for some reason when I slap on the blush it just makes my face look more made up instead of like like if I'm not wearing foundation the blush just makes it look like I am which is weird anyways that's besides the point eyeliner I guess like I grew up in a really unsupportive Asian family and they always you know always criticized me when I was a child that my eyes were so small and that I was ugly. I don't mean my direct family, but like my um, aunts and uncles and stuff. Like at family events, they'd be like, oh, your eyes are so small. How can you even see out of them? Like stuff like that, okay? And they're Korean too, so <laughs> it's not like they had huge eyes. I know that sounds terrible, but if you're from an Asian family, if you wonder why in Korea that a lot of 14-year-old girls have the eyelid surgery, because their parents pay for it, it's like accepted and normal in that society and so having bigger eyes is like beauty and so my eyes aren't particularly large even for a Korean and so um, eyeliner, I don't know, I think it's just a psychological thing in my mind that like eyeliner makes my eye look bigger and so I feel more confident. What attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex? So. I'm not going to talk about, uh, you know, personality stuff because we're just talking about beauty, I guess. So um, I guess what really attracts me a lot of times, well, like, first of all, I'm a sucker for nice eyes. If they have really beautiful eyes, then I really like that. Be not because of the whole Asian thing that I just said, but, but because when someone's talking, you look at their eyes and I don't know, it, as cliche as it sounds, it is a window to their soul. and. You just feel like you get the person more by looking at really nice eyes, um, by looking at their eyes. Um, and I really like uh, taller guys, like if they're six feet or taller, I think that's attractive. And someone who's fit, I don't mean like super muscular, but somebody who clearly takes care of their body, who can handle themselves, you know? Uh, I don't want to be with like someone who I feel like I have to protect. And of course, a nice smile is always a heart melter. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? Um, beauty items, I guess I... I've been really loving for the naked palettes. I can't make up my mind which one I want to get. But not that anyone would ever get it for me as a gift because most of the people in my life, like my real life, like none of the people I'm friends with is really into makeup so they wouldn't like go into a makeup store to get me a makeup item as a gift so <laughs> um, this is just me what I want and perhaps my gift myself in the future but one of the naked palettes or maybe both if I go a little crazy but um, that is what I would like so that was Envy so I hope you sort of enjoyed that and got to learn a little bit about my messed up family <laughs> but uh if you would like to do it, I'd like to watch yours. So I'll see you next time. Bye.